I usually start the youth with brothers and sisters. So here also I want to use that word. Respect us as the brothers and sisters. And then rest of brothers and sisters. <clears throat> I always consider the uh, importance of the sense of oneness of humanity. Uh, on that level, seven billion human beings are the same human being. Mentally, emotionally, physically, we are the same. Then, more important, everyone, want, everyone have the feeling of pains and pleasure. With that, everyone, including animals, birds, insects, want happy life. Do not want suffering or disturbances. So then more important, seven million human beings, everyone want, everyone want happy life, and everyone have right to achieve happy life. So we have to develop a sense of oneness of humanity on that level no basis to killing each other. If you respect the other, consider as your brothers, sisters, then no room to tell lie, to exploit, to bully. All these negative action, verbal action, physical action, all on the level of secondary level. That is, you see, a different, or say the nation, different race, different color, different religious faith. Even within same country, same religion, again, make differences rich and poor. When we met some rich person, family, oh, he smile, respect. When we met a poor beggar, we looked down. Wrong, same human being. They also have the right, respect. So most of the problem which we are facing is actually with too much emphasis on secondary level of differences. Most of destructive emotion very much related with self-centered attitude. We, me. Then that leads bully other, killing other. So I think now time come. We have to feel these killings, discriminations. I think now we should feel fed up. Why? Too much. Killed by, killed one human being by animal, tiger, or lion, we feel sad. Same human being, killing by another human being, unthinkable. So now, we are here, carry some so it was the ceremony, very happy mood. Same moment, different part of the world, people killed by human being. And number of people, especially children, facing starvation. Again, we netted it on the basis of discrimination. So therefore, now we really need 
make special effort to promote sense of oneness of seven billion human beings. That's why I always say, uh, describe brothers and sisters. I feel more comfortable. Then another small reason. So I can't remember positions or individual names. So, <laughs> so better to just to say brothers, sisters. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> then, uh, firstly, thank you. You invited me and give me this kasa. Honorary degree. degree. So I often, you see, expressing uh, when I receive some honorary degree, I feel special thank because uh, without much, uh, I mean, much to study with effort, without that, <laughs> receiving some degrees. I think you receiving degrees, years, years, your effort, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> of course, my own study, uh, since childhood, uh, seven, eight years, you see, I start uh, my study. The young Dalai Lama, no exception. We carry normal way. So, uh, quite, uh, quite difficult difficulties. Then, on top of that, I'm a very lazy student. So, you know, uh, if my teacher give me some kind of uh, liberty, freedom, then I may not pay much attention about the study. So therefore, my tutor kept uh, keep one whip to show me threat. So out of fear, I carry study. <laughs> then gradually, I grown up. I think this young boy also. I think maybe same. <laughs> we prefer just to play, not for not study. <laughs> so I, uh, I grown up like that way. Uh, then eventually, study more, then develop genuine interest. So, we human being, we have uh, not like other animals, mammals. We have this wonderful brain. So therefore. In human being, uh, in humanity, education uh, become very important. So, for example, this country, since independence, I think education really highly developed, uh, advanced. So education, very, very important in order to utilize fully about our brain. Then, so I want to say a congratulation. Young student, you see, as a result of your hard work, uh, now you get a degree. So I want to express my congratulation. And then also I want to thank teachers. Uh, I think including people who, uh, who, who take care of uh, food and everything. They, these people also you see, made uh, directly or indirectly some contribution regarding for your education. So I would like to thank. Then, Then now, big question. Today's world, economy, I think com comparatively, comparatively, I think really much advanced, particularly in 20th century. And with the help of technology, 
sein. Uh, then, uh, but meantime, 20th century, in spite of a lot of sort of advancement right now in the material field, in technology, science, a lot of violence. My life, I born in 1935. That very moment, Sino-Japanese war about to start. And Europe, Nazi Germany, gain because of that power. So then eventually, World War, Second World War, start. Immense destruction, including two nuclear bomb use in Hiroshima, Nagasaki. I personally have the opportunity to visit these two areas and also have the opportunity to meet some I say the survivors. Uh, survivor of that terrible weapon. Very sad. Very, very really sad. The beginning of this 21st century, still a lot of violence. So therefore, you see the mere our general education, I think, failed to bring genuine, peaceful world. And the science, technology, sometimes helping to kill. In ancient time, war maker, violence, because the people who create violence, quite obvious. Now, with, tech, with help of technology, uh, communication, indivisible. One person can create a lot of killing. Now question, technology is something wrong? No, absolutely not. And educate, most of these troublemakers are educated people. So existing education is something wrong? No, education is very important. Now, this shows existing education system not complete, not adequate. Existing education system simply taking care of brain not warm-heartedness. So education should include education about warm-heartedness. Now, uh, all major world religious tradition, all tradition really teach us importance of practice of love, compassion, Forgiveness, tolerance, self-discipline, contentment. But then, various major religious tradition cannot cover entire seven, seven billion human beings. Because out of seven billion, over one billion non-believer, among six billion human beings, suppose believer, but not very serious. So among the believer, some uh, mischievous people also there. <laughs> Sometimes they use religion to create more problem. So this is certainly uh, indicates the moral principle, regarding moral principle, the religious tradition not adequate. So therefore, 
Now here, India's tradition, secular, conservative, secular, India's own constitution is it based on secular. It's understandable. When India got independence, this nation is multi-religious community or people, nation. Therefore, constitution uh, should be secular principle. Secular means respect all religions. And also, according Indian understanding, secular means respect non-believer. This is something very unique. In the West, the very word secular, people look secular means disrespect religion and distance from religion, religious faith. Some my friend even sort of interpret secular some kind of atheism. So according to Indian understanding, not at all like that. Secular means respect all religion and also respect non-believer. I think the secular way to educate, educate people, if eventually we will find so that method can cover entire seven billion human beings. So some, you know, some people, mainly from America, and also now start in India also, you see, serious sort of uh, the investigation of investigation uh, marbe carry research uh, the secular ethics you see uh, try to sort of say they uh, fit in secular education field so we already I think last uh, more than one, one decade, some scientists, some educationists, you see, we already start some sort of experiment. So result, quite convincing. So now we are seriously now discussing or drafting on secular ethics, education about secular ethics, which can be fit in secular education field that also from kindergarten level up to university level. So we have to, we have to, to think seriously about this, that thing. The existing education system is not adequate. Most of these uh, top mega are quite well educated. So education, knowledge, uh, was the instrument of anger, hatred, So, in order to carry our education more constructive way, we have to take care about our emotion through education, through awareness, promote constructive education, and tr automatically more constructive emotion increase through reasons, through training, through understanding, not necessarily, not necessarily through prayer, but simply use our intelligence, then you can develop conviction. Warm-heartedness is very important sort of factor for our good health. Happy family, happy community. Now scientists, you see, through their experiment, you see, some scientists say, the constant fear, constant anger, actually eating our immune system. Then also some scientists, you see, through their experiment, you see, basic human nature is more compassionate. Because we all come from our mother. We all nurtured by mother's milk. So basic nature is more positive. So that's, I think, real basis of our hope. If basic human nature is negative, then we can't do anything. 
but basic nature is positive. Therefore, if we make attempt, there is possibility to create better humanity, more compassionate humanity, automatically then become world become more peaceful, more happier, more compassionate world. So this is your responsibility. I usually, it's a telling audience, two generations, generation of 20th century, generation of 21st century. My generation and respected elder brothers, also you see blog that, that generation. <laughs> so, our century, 20th century, gone. So we, generation of 20th century, we ready to say bye-bye. <laughs> so now this, these people, the generation of 21st century, now this 21st century, just the beginning. So there is real possibility if generation of 21st century make attempt now, later part of 21st century can be more peaceful, more happier humanity. <laughs> so that you should have sort of your dream, uh, your life, dedicate your education, dedicate, utilize for better world, happier world. Firstly, this nation, India, secular ethics, thousand years here. With that, religious harmony, thousand years already practiced here. So these are, I think, the sort of greatness of this nation. Now this, now besides preserving in, within your own country, but also you see now time come to share rest of the world. So therefore, now here in this country, uh, Hindus, Muslims, Jains, Buddhists, and so on, uh, generally very peaceful, very harmonious. And some other country, even the same Muslim, Sunni, Shia, sometimes you see problem. And Catholic, Protestant, also sometimes problem. Now, unfortunately, in Burma, now Buddhist and Muslim, some problem. That's very, very unfortunate. I'm, as a Buddhist, I really feel very sad. So otherwise, and Sri Lanka, also you see some sort of problem due to religious faith, different religious faith. So overall, I think this country, now for example, this country, I think really remarkable. So this is India's treasure. Now time comes to share rest of the world. So in order to share rest of the world within the country, these traditionally your, your pressure, your treasure, your treasure must promote, must keep. So that I want to share. And then these young people, at this moment, I think you may have a little bit sort of concern now how to utilize your education, how to lead your new life. Then life, you should not take for granted life will be easy. No problems, obstacles, always there. When you're facing these things, you should not lose your also the optim optimism, optimism. Problem, always there. But we are human beings. This intelligence and warm-heartedness bring us inner strength, self-confidence. Education, knowledge, self-confidence combined. It is always possible to overcome our problem. So self-confidence is very important. And for that, at the beginning, you should not uh, expect too much. You have to think, oh, obstacle bound to happen. Then you already prepared when you face some difficulties, uh, you can keep your enthusiasm. If right from the beginning, too much optimism, and 
some small obstacle comes, then demoralize, become pessimistic. So that, as an old person, now uh, over 80 years old person, and my life you see through a lot of difficulties. So I learned self-confidence. Self-confidence very much based on truth, honesty. Uh, honesty, truthful, uh, will bring trust. Uh, because you see, you can carry your life transparently. That brings trust. Trust is basis of friendship. So therefore, you see, you should uh, carry your work honestly, truthful. That brings inner strength, self-confidence. Do you agree? <laughs> if, you, if you agree, then, you see, these words should not left in the hole, but should be part of your daily life. Okay, thank you.